Well, hello everybody, and uh, I just want to tell you about um, condensation. Now you know that um, we've been suffering with a bit of condensation in the bedroom area, uh, just underneath the mattresses, where the hot air inside meets the cold board from the garage because we have the beds up and the garage below and there's cold air being in the garage and that when that hot air from us sleeping in the beds goes through on t into the mattress and goes through onto the cold board underneath we get a lot of condensation so that's the the warm moist air hitting that cold board the air can't hold the water anymore therefore condensation forms um, and that's that's really the science of it um, but we also get that on the windscreen at the front so you know we've got um, a driver seat and passenger seat that swivel round to make the sort of uh, full lounge area um, we call it the captain and the co-pilot chair so but on the windscreen we've got what's called uh, remus blinds but let me just show you what I found earlier this morning and pretty much every morning uh, when we open the blinds it looks pretty much like this. This is not such a bad day but here it is. So this is the sort of condensation that we get uh, and you'll see the window. This is the front windscreen and it's pretty misted up all on the inside here and that is what the um, silver screens are going to help us with. So you'll see that um, the condensation builds up on the inside of the windscreen because of the warm air on the inside meeting the cold windscreen and the cold air on the outside. So we get massive amounts of condensation on the inside of the windscreen and you know, you'll, be, you'll be aware of that in your own cars and, and so on. But people have been telling us, well, the way to solve that is to buy some of those um, wraparound covers that go on the outside, and most people call them silver screens. Um, but we were on a rally a little while ago with the Motor Caravanners Club, and they said, oh, well, uh, a good place to buy those type of things is Taylor Made. And that's T-A-Y-L-O-R-M-A-D-E dot co.uk I think anyway it took me a couple of weeks to get well a few weeks to get my act together and contact TaylorMade by the time I got there their website was uh, down for maintenance had a um, their logo and it's like the website is down until the 7th of December uh, well it actually said they'll take phone calls up to the 7th of December and I assumed that the website would be back online by then so I waited until the 7th um, it wasn't back online so I phoned them the phone just rang and rang and rang I held on and it just kept on ringing, ringing for about two minutes um, so I gave up and I thought okay well it also says email sales at tailormade so i emailed them on the 8th i think um so you know i checked again on the 8th just in case they were a day late getting a website back online still no website um still no answer from the phone i emailed them um i got no answer i waited two or three days and i thought well looking online there are two places to get these there's either the tailor-made and people that buy those say they're great and there's the silver screen that is uh silver um silver screens or motorhome silver screen. i can't remember i'll put the link um down below there so you'll see just here that um website address so I went on there, I couldn't really work out what what ones I needed to buy. Um, so I telephoned them. They were, I telephoned them at 20 past 12. Uh, they were at lunch. Their message said, don't leave a message. 
but at lunch from 12 to 12 30 we'll call you back so by one o'clock they had actually phoned me back and the guy on the phone there was so so helpful such um i mean already good service they're at lunch which is fine they phoned back just as they said they would brilliant so i said well okay so what what is it about these silver screens and, you know and he told me which ones i needed to buy the ones for the modern or the newer uh, post 2015 fiat ducato they term as the multi-jet um it's a bit weird weird way of describing it but um, I said yeah that's it and he described the vehicle um, and we agreed that they were the right ones he knew his stuff um, and he said during this conversation we have a cast iron guarantee that you will not have condensation on the inside of your screens so long as you fit them properly um, well that's fair enough so I said well okay so how much do they cost well they're not cheap it's 180 pounds uh, 179 um, which is somewhat more expensive than the tailor-made but can't get hold of tailor-made can't get hold of them don't answer the phone don't answer emails tailor-made not so good on customer service if that's the way they treat potential buyers hmm I'm not I'm not going to be happy with any after after sales customer service anyway I decided that this guy was so helpful and so full of information about how these worked what they're for um, you know and all all the other bits and pieces he, he actually said to me well you don't need to buy them now he tried to put me off from buying them he said buy them four days before you need them that will give us time to deliver them and you can have two weeks free trial of those so you buy them you try them out for two weeks if they don't work or you don't like them send them back brilliant so i said look we're in the van all the time we work we live and work in the van so um i ordered them 179 pounds ordered there is an additional thing if you want it um, it's a privacy screen so the middle of the windscreen folds down and that lets light in so you don't have to take the whole thing off it just lets light in you can see out but there's a privacy net so you can put this sort of thing on where people can't really see in but you can see out and he said well look, look, yeah they're useful if you want a bit of privacy but don't order it yet until you think you need it um, it's an extra £40 which I would have been quite happy to pay um, but he said look just fold the screen down as far as you need it to let's plenty of light in you can see out and because of the the height difference of people standing outside and, and people inside looking out you probably get quite a lot of privacy um, so don't order it until you think you might need it it's another um, great customer service thing not buying stuff until you need it from them uh, brilliant anyway I said look let's get on with it let's order it so he took down my details took my card number got it all sorted he said look um, it's you know by then it was about 20 past one half past one in the afternoon he said look um, we've got quite a lot going on here um, do you mind if I post them out tomorrow they should take an extra day to get to you and I said no that's fine um, I think if I'd said no I absolutely must have them he would have got me in the post that afternoon but anyway I agreed to next to the to post them out the next day anyway the next day would have been yesterday they arrived yesterday afternoon and here they are this is the pack this is the silver screens and I've not opened them yet because well we're we're just about to go away for a few days and um, I'm gonna be opening them tomorrow probably um, to get them on the van or maybe I'll open them well we're traveling late so I'll open them tomorrow 
but I'll give you a complete view of those tomorrow. But believe me, I'm going to be so happy with no condensation up the front because all that water just evaporating back into the van can't be great. Um, and, and dripping down into the sort of windscreen well. Anyway, that's it. Um, you've seen the sort of condensation we get. Um, it's a lovely bright day. Uh, a lot of you have said you'd like the um, snow scene, uh, drone footage. All of that snow is now gone completely. Um, so it, it was, it warmed up and rained a lot yesterday. We had some burst pipes here, which um, we got fixed up straight away as soon as they soon to be noticed. Um, and uh, all the all the snow has now melted. Um, it's gone, and it all looks green and wet again. So, anyway, but that's it from me today. We'll give you a bit more review tomorrow of the silver screens, and all of our journey we're going to be traveling late arriving late getting into brighton we're going so um it's a family christmas visit so we're looking forward to all of that seeing everybody and uh having lunch uh over the over the next couple of days with them anyway we'll see you soon bye bye for now